So this is how you can create controls for your character. To create a controller, I go up to create and NURBS primitives, I select circle. The circle is either placed here or you have to drag it in. With this circle selected, I select the main joint and I press P, which parents the circle underneath the joint. If I press F, I can see out here in the outline that it's underneath this. I can then zero out the controller out in the channel box over here and press enter. So I select all of them and press zero and press enter. That means now if I press four, I can see through my mesh and I can see that it's placed right in the center. It also has an orientation that is a bit weird compared to what we want. What I'm then going to do is press shift P and that unparents my circle. Out here in the outliner, I can see that we have a rotation in the the Y, I'm going to zero that out because that straightens it up compared to the world. And it's okay to have a little bit of an offset, but it's going to make it way easier to animate on. And then I'm going to go up here and you see these three small icons. I'm going to press the last icon and that's going to enable me to edit the shape. If you don't see those points, you have to right click on it and select control vertex. You can then select all of these. And then I'm going to press E to rotate it and I'm going to hold down J to snap and then I'm going to rotate that until it's aligned like this. And now I'm going to scale it up while being in this mode. So you can see this is going to be our control and it's starting to look like it. I'm going to select these two points now and I'm going to scale it in a little bit just to give it a little bit of a cooler shape. And now I'm going to right click and go to object mode. And you see this is our control and if I press 5 or 6, with 6 I can see the texture, I can see we made our first control. Now the issue is that we have these attributes out here. We don't want those, we want everything to be zero, but it doesn't have the same as our joints have. So in able to make this become zero, what we're going to do is we're going to select the curve and press control D to duplicate it. So now we have two. I'm going to right click in the empty spare area in my outliner and I'm going to press shapes. So that's going to display the shape nodes that we have. Underneath this curve, I'm going to delete this shape and that creates a group. So now we only have a group, but it's placed in the exact place as our curve. If I then take my curve and middle mouse drag it down into the group, you can see it became zeroed out. And that is how you create your controls, which is quite cool. So I'm going to call this main underscore control underscore c t r l for control this one i'm going to call main underscore c group and that means zero group this video is sponsored by me i'm excited to introduce my first ever course where beginners can learn how to rig a character in my art desk it's super duper easy to follow at a affordable price and by buying it you are supporting me check out this introduction video right now